All right, guys, welcome back. It is 16 March 2022, and I got some great news. I got some awesome news, and this is what I have been waiting for. Intel. Intel will launch its ARC GPUs on March 30th. This is incredible. This is the greatest news ever. Anyway, the PC graphics market becomes a three-way race. This is what we need right now. We got NVIDIA getting a little greedy, kind of controlling who they sell the cards to, making back backdoor deals with certain miners with um, server farms, server facilities in the south of Utah. You know how that one went down. The guy bragged about it, and then he had to delete all the social media because he got a lot of hate for that. We got NVIDIA introducing LHR, low hash rate, on purpose to discourage mining, to uh, penalize miners. But we got around there, stupid LHR, most of it, and we still make some decent hashes off those crappy cards. And we got AMD, who is just trying to keep up. Uh, will they have longevity? I don't know. I like their cards. I like their 6600 XTs. But NVIDIA seems to be the big boogeyman here, the big bad guy. So we have a third player coming in. And they're going to come in and they're going to kick some major buttocks, man. They are going to kick some ass. And they are going to hopefully dominate this market and uh, make NVIDIA an honest player. Uh, full disclosure, I do own NVIDIA stock to my dismay, to my disappointment. I bought it about 300 bucks because Pelosi bought it. And I figured if these politicians are all criminals, they must know what they're doing. And I followed suit and I lost, you know, I'm down. So be careful when you buy this crap. Make sure you know what you're doing. Don't do what I do. I should just put the money in crypto, but I didn't. Oh, well. Fool's errand. And I'm just going to hold on. But NVIDIA does have a, uh, a lot of um, uh, pro news coming out. And people are backing and saying, you know, it's going to go higher, blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. Who knows what's going to happen? Nobody knows. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I got on a tangent there. So anyway, Intel will hopefully keep NVIDIA on. And AMD is, uh, is a player too. But we'll see what happens. Okay, let's go through this, guys. Intel said Monday. Monday probably was the, what, the 15th or the 14th? Uh, Intel said Monday that its first ARC GPUs will launch on March 30th. I love it. I love it. Introducing a third major player into the PC graphics arena, Intel is expected to announce its first Alchemist chip for GPUs on March 30th as part of an 8 a.m. Uh, Pacific Time webcast that will formally launch the new chips. Intel has already published a bare bones landing page that will host a webcast and provide details on the new GPUs. Uh, let's see if that comes up. There is the web page, a new stage of the game, baby. Join us on March 30th at 8 a.m. Pacific time to see Intel Arc Graphics take center stage and get a first look at our new discrete graphics for laptops. Ooh, well, I hope it comes out for just regular GPUs too. Let's see what's going to happen. All right, let's get more details. Uh, what I love about the gaming community is how it can uh, constantly pushes the computational limits of hardware and software, especially graphics. Roger Chandler, Vice President and General Manager of the Intel Client Graphics Products and Solutions Business, introducing the webcast. Hey, man, mention miners, buddy. Don't go the NVIDIA route, and don't forget about the miners. Why do I keep saying that? Gaming's great, blah, 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 but... I'll be honest, if you're playing games all day, you're not really making a better version of yourself. You're wasting time. Time is a precious commodity. You will never get time back. Uh, I don't know. This is my opinion. Unless you're a professional gamer that makes money and gets endorsements, that's a different beast. But come on. When you're a miner, you are buying one-to-many graphics card. The mining miner business, the market, is a huge market that these fools should be focused on. Make mining specific cards. No, no fluff all stuff cards, no bells and whistles, no stupid little laser little LEDs and all that crap. Just make the thing produce a mega hash. I don't care. Just give enough fans to keep it cool. And that's all I really care about. These fools need to focus on miners. I am telling you, focus on miners because one miner buys up to 20 GPUs. A gamer maybe buys two. You know, come on. Let's get real. Let's talk dollars and cents. Not about people's feelings. Let's talk about dollars and cents. If you're a gamer, great, whatever. Knock yourself out. But focus on the miners, folks. Let's keep rolling. Woo! That's my rant. Okay. Though Intel was officially launched, though Intel will officially launch its new ARC chips, then the chip maker hasn't exactly kept its GPU aspirations a secret. What Intel originally called the XEHPG is now being called the Alchemist chip. Eh, it's boring. 
should be called something better, Alchemist Chip. Oh, well. And will be followed by chips known as Battle Image and Celestial. Ah, that's okay. That's a bit better. Intel has also published performance previews of its PC GPUs in action, such as this video from six months ago. A bunch of nerds here. Oh, my God. What's this? What is going on here? Look at those headphones. All right. I'm going to make fun of the guy, but holy crap, dude. You don't need to have 1980 headphones. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Uh, there you can watch your video on PC World. A bunch of nerds getting together talking about, you know, nerd stuff. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's roll. Intel said in February that it expects to ship more than 4 million discrete RTPUs in 2022, which will help alleviate the man crunch that has hit the PC GPU market, as well as the chip market in general. I don't know, man. There's a lot of geopolitical crap going on that may just uh, stop this, if you know what I mean. All right, Intel said that uh, then that it would launch Arc Alchemist chips for the notebook, mar notebook market. Again, this is the laptop stuff. This quarter and desktop graphics cards, that's what I care about. Desktop graphics cards beginning in the second quarter of this year. March 30, of course, is the second to last day of the first quarter of 2022. So I'm afraid this might all just be related to notebook crap. I don't really give a crap about that. I don't care about the desktop GPU cards, man. That's what I want to know. And where in hell am I going to be able to buy these things too? Let me know. All right. When you purchase something after, oh, whatever, blah, 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 that's this affiliate thing. Is that it? No, wait. All right. That's it. What a dumb article. Okay. Short and sweet. Let's watch this. I wonder if you can hear this if I play this. I don't know. Can you hear that? This is the Intel ad. All right. All right, that's the first look at Intel Arc High Performance Graphics. This is their Intel ad. All right, let's just keep going. Oh, wait, Metro. I like Metro. Is that the Metro game? Oh, wait. I do like Metro. So all I said about gamers, I'm sorry. Is that the Metro Russian game? That is an awesome game. Look at that graphics. Okay. Pretty cool. Way cool. Let's just, well, we got Chivalry 2. Whack. Intel Arc. They got quiet. Ooh, now what's happening? This is another game. They really need to focus on showing some mining stuff, man. Oh, what happened here? That guy had a bad day. He had a bad day. It'll buff out. Oh, music. More to come. More to come. Is that it? All right, there you go. That was their little promo ad. I don't know. No one, no one's come out with uh, specs on what they're going to mine. Uh, Mega hash, what these cards can produce, what performance, and not even a cost of where to buy this stuff. Uh, let's see. Intel's Arc GPU roadmap promises enthusiast graphics with battle image. NVIDIA won't buy ARM. Biggest chip deal in history just got scrapped. That's older news. Let's look at this. Let's look at this event. All right. Join us March 30th. Time to see Intel Arc graphics take center stage and get a first look at our new discrete graphics for the laptop. See, that's a laptop. All right. We got it. We want desktop, guys. If you're a miner, you want the desktop stuff. Why is everyone bald today? Jesus, the story behind Intel Arc. Every gamer, every game gamer and creator has a story, and every story has an arc. Uh, if you're visiting a page, blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. All right, nothing what I care about. All right, some little discouraged right now. Let's go back to the thing. Ooh, I don't, this guy's just pushing affiliate crap. Let's look at this thing. What is this battle image? Intel's RGB roadmap promises enthusiast graphics with battle image. Intel will begin shipping its first discrete Alchemist GPUs for notebooks this quarter. I don't care about notebooks on desktop. All right, there you go, guys. So stuff is starting to move. Stuff is happening. Stuff is being made amazingly because of the lack of chips and anything, uh, computers, circuitry, components. It's very, very, very hard to get anything, even to get circuit breakers, uh, for your home, electrical panel, cars, anything like that. It's just hard to get anything. And there's obvious reasons. I don't care what side of the aisle you're on. There's an obvious reason. 
in control right now of this country that is deliberately destroying this country. And I don't know why, man. I, I know why, but that's why we're having trouble with everything. That's why we're uh, we're back in the 70s again. Yeah, not good, not good times, folks. But I'm amazed they're actually producing stuff. I'm amazed they're going to come out with stuff. And maybe we'll kick NVIDIA in the buttocks and get them a little attitude adjustment and start supporting the customers more and stop with this LHR crap and just produce cards that are high performance and make people happy. The more happy customers, folks, the more you're going to make. Again, I always tell in a video, make a gaming line and make a mining line. You will be amazingly happy unless there's something they're butthurt about mining for some reason. I don't know. You never know what goes on behind closed doors in these uh, these uh, corporations or who's paying them not to uh, encourage mining. You never know. It's all money. Follow the money. Follow the money. Follow the money and you will find the truth. All right. That's all I got. I'm pretty excited about the intel coming out. But again, cautiously skeptical because they may come out and not be performant. They are new to markets like anything new. There's going to be bugs with it. It may break, overheat, may not be performant, uh, may be expensive. So if anything, the pro would be it makes NVIDIA honest and lowers their prices and you just go swap, you know, pick up some RTX 30 cards, 1600 series cards and just start building out your rigs that way. So that's a pro there as well. It may drive prices down and you just start gobbling up cards, you know, that work on your rigs and produce. Uh, buying new stuff always makes me nervous because you're going to be hold, you know, left holding the bag. You push out push out 500 bucks for an Intel GPU and you're going to be like, oh, this thing's not even fully tested and it's breaking already. It's overheating. Uh, not worth the, not worth the, not worth the juice. There's, you know, the squeeze isn't worth the juice, right, man? Um, or the juice isn't worth the squeeze, whatever it is. Uh, who knows? We'll find out, but that's my plan is if NVIDIA sees this coming, they may drop their rates, their prices on existing cards, produce more, flood the market, lower the prices down, and then with the crypto prices being down, no one's really buying many cards right now. They're kind of waiting and seeing, and then maybe the prices come down and you just gobble up 10 GPUs for a thousand bucks, and that's a, that's a big no. Let's say 300 bucks a decent card, you know, get three cards for a thousand bucks. That won't be bad. That'd be a lot better than it is right now. And that's my game plan. We'll see what happens. Nobody knows the future. We may all not be here tomorrow the way things are going. So anyway, hug your family, hug your dog, and pray to God that you're here tomorrow the way things are going. It's not looking too damn good. All right, I'm out. Take care. Let me know what you're going to do. If you know anything more about this Intel, if you're working Intel, give me the inside scoop. I want information. I want to know the facts. All right. I like a blam time. Time to go. I'm out. Take care, guys.